Hello boss. Well, um, here's how I figured out that you could uh, link your part, which can be an intro or a verse part in a song, with a, uh, let's say, pre-chorus and then chorus, okay? So, your part goes something like this. Okay, now I would like to take my part in the song. Let's take just this one, okay? So we're going to have a verse and some sort of a pre chorus or even chorus part, if you want to look at it like that, which goes like. See, it's the same A chord here or here. Nothing too complicated. So it's just two chords A power chord, G power chord, okay? So. Now it's this little, let's say, lick, which is E, G, A, C, B, then going back straight into the chord progression. So you would have. See, it's uh, nothing too difficult actually, and it sounds really good, and it can be a very good chorus. Now, let's see how to link your part to this one, okay, using the same little lick, okay? Instead of doing... You're gonna do... There you go. You just... Uh, take one of your uh, bars, the last bar, and replace it with a little lick. And the whole thing sounds something like this. So this is how I see it. Um, you can link parts to one another using little licks, which can be, of course, um, played in a lower register so that they may sound like a riff, or in a higher register so that they may sound like more of a uh, beat lick. For instance, why not try to take this lick here and play it in an upper register? I'm not gonna. Uh, spoil the surprise. I'm just gonna let you use the notes. If you rewind the movie and see the notes, as I said, E, G, A, C, B. So find the notes in another spot on the neck and try to play them, transforming this more into a lead lick than a riff like this. Hope this sparked more ideas for you, man. See ya.